My name is Alfred Makwaka. I was born here in Langa. When I was growing up, um, I grew up in a street called Mendy, Mendy Avenue. Back then, Mendy was um, known to be a street where most policemen that were working in our Langa Seps office used to stay. We are told that many of them never came to Kualang. Those who decided to come to Langa in 1923 made sure that they are making it happen in Langa. They sort of attracted others to see that Langa is really a place that can accommodate black families in the urban rural area. The significant um, events politically that I've heard and read about and seen on TV would be where um, women came together to protest against the past laws. Past laws that were prohibiting them to come to the urban areas. Um, I've read, I've seen, I've heard people telling us those stories about 1955, 1956, where women came together, the whole of South Africa, marching against uh, the past laws. They went as far as Pretoria, where the Minister of Home Affairs then was addressed. When they got to the building, the minister fled. She couldn't face the women. But later we are told that laws changed, allowing women to come to areas like the cities, going to Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, and anywhere else where they seek to go where jobs and opportunities and infrastructure was the need. We were fortunate um, when the creation of Langa happened or it was happening, we had churches that came to our shores, missionaries to establish churches. But they didn't just establish churches. They listened to the needs of the community where education was um, given as a need. So they then established the schools within the churches. During the week, um, some of those churches will be classrooms. Um, then on Sundays, the churches will be a place of worship. It was ironic for us to think that every day we are spending in a church because it meant that every day you are in a church, but for a different thing. But that worked accordingly to what our parents needed because they wanted us to grow up knowing the word of God knowing Christianity as something that will protect us, knowing Christianity as something that will help us to be molded to be the good citizens that we are today. Langa did experience massacres in 1960, where again it was a demonstration against the past laws that led many of black people marching from various towns, including Langa, to Caledon Square, in town. Today, South Africans are commemorating Human Rights Day. Back then, it was a sad story. Hence, today, we feel that they were fighting for their human rights. We therefore need to acknowledge the efforts that were made that are taking us forward where it comes to protecting one another against the law, against the other fellow community members. So 21st of March is ideal to be commemorated, not only by one or two, by the whole of the world. I would be failing this um, documentary if I don't mention Mama Annie Silinga, who became so defiant in such a way that she will always be in our hearts and our minds. Uh, and we so wish that people would talk about her, would write books about her, because she, she, she defied all past laws. Everything that had to do with pastors, she refused until her deathbed. She was heard making a statement at the Grand Parade when Mandela spoke for the first time upon his release from uh, Victor Fester. She said, I will carry a pass the day I see a prime minister's wife carries one. 
which means she felt and she saw herself and other women being equivalent to all the women or females in South Africa and in the world. So for that alone, it gave strength to other activists to say, let's stand up for what we, what we believe in and let's make this known for the world to understand that in South Africa, blacks are suffering. People had mixed feelings. They thought when we get our freedom, we from Kualanga or in any black townships are going to go move into Constantia, Bishop's Courts, where white people are staying today. But it was never like that. We were told, we were told that democracy is something that we are going to be benefiting while we are in our townships. We can better make our living where we are. It's either by going to school, by working, and being creative in terms of making life where it happens. So we are now seeing people making it happen where they live. Langa and other townships are no longer townships that were for poor people as it was designed back then. We see people that have strived against all odds to be better people, to be business people, to be intellectuals. We are now inspired by those people. Hence, we feel that we need to tell their stories as well because they have made a legacy that we need to keep up and to take it forward.